What is probably the most important phone call you'll ever make? I'll give you a hint. It only has three numbers. Nine, one, one. These three numbers can mean the difference between life and death. This is David with GetVoip.com and today we're talking about Enhanced 911, aka E911. First off, let's talk about the difference between 911 and Enhanced 911. Arguably, the most important part of any emergency call is your location. Because if no one knows where you are, how can they help you? When you dial 911, your call is automatically routed to the PSTN, or Public Switch Telephone Network. You can think of the PSTN as kind of an operator. This operator locates where you are and then transfers you to the closest PSAP location in your area. Now the PSAP is the public safety answering point. These are the people who dispatch emergency services to your specific location. With a regular 911 call, emergency calls are tied directly to your physical address. However, with Enhanced 911, your address and information is far more detailed, and you're able to change it and update it should you change your location. Let's say you're in a burning building, but you're on the 18th floor. You dial 911. Emergency service vehicles will respond, but they arrive at your physical address, but they still don't know where you are. With Enhanced 911, additional detailed information is all submitted directly to the PSAP. This means when response vehicles arrive, they already know exactly what floor you're on, which room, and which part of the building. All this information saves valuable time and quite possibly your life. With the versatility and portability of VoIP services, basically anywhere you have internet is now a place where you have a phone number. But this also means that it becomes very hard to track your exact position because there is no fixed landline. When dialing 911 from a VoIP line, your information is sent directly from a VoIP service provider to the PSAP. This is why it's essential for VoIP users to keep up-to-date information and details for their enhanced 911 services. It is also crucial to remember that not all VoIP service providers offer the enhanced 911 service. Here are a few helpful tips if you're thinking about emergency services through your VoIP provider. Make sure that the address and contact information with your service provider is up to date including the floor and suite number of your location. Be familiar with your service provider's procedure for updating your address information. Bookmark the page you need to make E911 changes with your service provider. Have a clear understanding of any limitations your E911 service may have. Not all service providers will have E911 service. Some may charge an additional fee. Inform anyone who may be affected by your VoIP limitations, if there are any. Keep in mind that if your power or internet is down, your VoIP system will not work. VoIP systems require both to operate, so have a backup plan in case of a blackout. Only interconnected VoIP service providers are required to offer E911 service. If you're not sure if your service has it, make sure by asking your service provider. So if you're thinking about switching to VoIP, make sure that you contact your service provider and ask him about the options for Enhanced 911. Be well prepared and safe with your service provider and always be in contact with emergency services. After all, it's probably the most important call you ever make. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and make sure you watch more videos at GiveVoip.com.